Today on Geek Devotions, we're talking about Tetris and God's perfect timing. Hello, Devoted Geeks. Welcome to Geek Devotions, a show from a couple of Devoted Geeks who are devoted to letting you know that you are loved. My name is Dallas Moore, and I'm so glad you hit the play button. Do me a favor. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you like today's content, make sure you give us a big old thumbs up thing that's down below. And also share this video. This is a this is a big deal for us, guys. Not because we just want, you know, hey, everybody watch Geek Devotions, but because we believe the things we're putting out help to touch people's lives. So if you watch this episode and you think it will minister somebody and encourage them, please share this video with them. So today's episode comes right off the heels of our Devoted Geek Life Tetris Tournament. That's right, we had a Tetris Tournament in our Devoted Geek Life Facebook group, which and it was a lot of fun, guys. This was really a lot of fun. And the winner of our tournament is going to, to win a really cool t-shirt that I'm going to show you at the end of the episode. And that winner is... Come on, guys. You know how this works. You'll find out the winner at the end of the episode. So like I said... We've been playing Tetris all week long, and guys, it is so much fun. If you haven't played Tetris before, you need to go to TetrisFriends.com and, and just play. Play play the marathon. Play the 1989 version. That's what we did all week long. And guys, there is just something amazing. It is, it's, I mean, it. you would think it wouldn't be so fun because it's really simple. You put blocks together. That's all you got to do. But guys, there's something like, because you get a plan, you're like, you know what? I need to get the long, like the big four piece Tetra, whatever it's called, and put it in place, knock out all four. And so you start building and planning things. You're going to put the block here. You're going to put the Z1 over here. Put the S1 over here. You're going to put the, the L's and the J's and the T's and you're stacking them up. You're putting them place to place and place and you have this plan. You know you you just need to get just right and there's this perfect slot that you're building right in the place and then another piece comes in and you're like, yes! And you almost stack it up but you move it out of the way just in time and you're building things away and you're oh, almost done. It's almost done. All of a sudden, the clouds split across the sky and down descending across your screen is the one perfect piece. The right Right piece at the right time this one little four piece tetra piece and it comes floating down and you don't even do anything you know right you don't you don't like just slam it down real quick you let it fall gently just slowly moving down the screen you tap it tick, tick, just in the right position right and you let it slide in and then all of a sudden whoosh, all Four rows gone, one instantaneous moment. You rejoice, yes! And then, like, oh crap, there's more. And there's more pieces coming. So you start doing it again. You start building things up because it doesn't stop, and your heart is racing. You're like, I will, I want to win. All of a sudden, one weird piece comes up, and you got it in the wrong place. And all of a sudden, game over. So what do you do? You hit play again, right? <laughs> I mean, there's something addictive about the game. You just, you when you fail, you just get back up and you keep going and you strive to have the right piece at the right time and it's amazing <laughs> but anyways so we're playing this game all the week long right guys and it just it, i couldn't help me but make me think about our own lives and and just we, we have all these plans right we know what we want to accomplish we know what we need to put into place so that we can have something else take place and so we start making these plans right we start building things up and we start to put people in places and start putting things in, in different areas we're like we're going to make this happen but we're just waiting for the right piece at the right time to fall into place so we can accomplish this great thing that we've been playing on forever and, and every so often something comes in and we're like that's not what I want we're shoving out of the way you're like this isn't right this isn't where I need to be and so you're working frantically to make it happen and then all of a sudden the right piece the right time comes into your life and things just flow and it's awesome it's in this this amazing feeling when god's opened up this, his blessings and his doors and he's like hey here's what you've been waiting for and things just click for you the reality is, though, that as we go journey through life, we're trying to make all these plans. Things don't look right. When we begin to panic, when we begin to wonder, we're like, you know, God, what are, what are we doing? Why why do you have me having, why are you giving me these pieces? I can't even talk. I'm so excited. But why are you giving me all these pieces? Why are these things falling into place here? And you're just got to, you're just starting to panic. And God's just going, trust me. I have the right piece at the right time. Trust in the process. Trust in this moment. The right piece is coming. And so you just start stacking things. It reminds me of the story of Abram, or Abraham, actually, in the in the scriptures where, you know, he was old. He was an old guy, him and his wife, very, very well-aged. 
and God promised them a child. And they're like, uh, God, we're old. And he's like, no, no, you're going to have a kid. And so they're like, okay, cool. We're going to do this, right? But the problem is they didn't trust in God's plan. And so they, they did their own thing, right? They made their own plan to get their own child and things did not end up well. The whole, or the whole, yeah, there was an issue with it. And so, but later they got their act together and they trust in the Lord. And then there's the promised child. Isaac and they are excited about the promised child that's been given to them. The right piece, the right time fell into place, and there, there's that piece. It's their son Isaac. And so, you know, Abraham's excited about this moment, right? But again, like I said earlier, once the you know the one piece that falls in the right position at the right time clears everything out of the way is done, there's still more pieces, all right? And so Abraham's working hard, he's doing his thing, and all of a sudden God comes to him one day and God asks him something really hard. He says, Abram, you need to go and take your son up to the mountain. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him to me. And Abraham is like, well, to be honest, he doesn't do what I think he would do. For me, if he God says, hey, Dallas, it's time to sacrifice your son that you, uh, you've been promised all these years, I'd be like, uh, Lord, I, I think you got that wrong, man. I, you don't want me to sacrifice my son, right? Maybe you want me to sacrifice my sonny D. Yes, I will sacrifice Sunny D all day long. That stuff is, that's just no. That's just no. But no, God said no. Sacrifice your son. And Abraham goes, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you, Lord. You're going to put the right piece in the right, at the right time. I'm going to trust you. And so Abraham starts gathering stuff and he tells Isaac, hey, come on, boy. We're going up, up the mountain. We're going to make a sacrifice. We're going to worship the Lord. And Isaac, he's like, okay, cool. So he starts going up the mountain. Isaac's not a dumb kid, though. Because as they're walking up, he's like, um, hey, dad. Um, where's the sacrifice? And all Abraham says is, the Lord will provide. So they're walking up. Hey, Dad, where, where's the sacrifice? The right piece will come at the right time, son. Don't worry about it. Keep going. So they get up to the mountain, and they start to prepare the sacrifice, right? They're putting things down and all this other stuff. And, and Abraham's roll out the rope to, to tie up the sacrifice. And, and Isaac's like, um... Dad, where's where's the sacrifice? And Abraham's like, Lord will provide. And so all of a sudden, he starts binding up Ab- or Isaac. I can't imagine what's going through Isaac's med- head right now. And so they binds him up, and he lays him on the table, and he's about to drop his knife on his son. And all of a sudden, the Lord goes, stop. And he's like, what? And he looks over, and there's a ram stuck in the bushes. The right piece at the right time. See, Abraham trusted in the Lord and he prepared the way he was supposed to prepare. And he trusted the Lord that was going to take care of him. And at the right time, the right piece came. And God's like, hey, well done. Proud of you. Showed great devotion. Good job. Don't kill your son. All right. Here, here, here's a ram. Kill it. (laughs) So he does. And it's great. This right piece came at the right time. In our lives, guys... That's going to happen to us. And I'm not telling you God's going to tell you to sacrifice your son. He's he, God will not tell you to do that, okay? This is like, this is a special circumstance. <laughs> but he will tell you to trust him, and there will be things you need to do that are honoring and that are appropriate, that are godly, and you're going to have to walk it out, and you're going to be confused at time, and you're going to have to trust that he's going to provide the right piece at the right time. And the beautiful thing is he's provided so many right pieces at the right time for you and I, and we didn't even know it. One of the best pieces that fell at the right time happened right about 2,000 years ago. Romans chapter 5, verse 6 says this, For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. See, what that scripture tells us is that at the right time in history, see, God had this plan and everything was laid out for us, all the way back to Abraham, because at the right time my son will descend and he will be sacrificed and he'll go right back up to heaven. He's the ultimate sacrifice at the right time for those who are ungodly. For people like you and me, people who, who don't deserve the right to go into heaven because of our sin, because of the junk that's in our lives. But Jesus was a sacrifice for you and I so we can call God Father. So we can call Him our Lord. So we can have a relationship with Him the right time and maybe maybe you're going through some stuff right now guys i want to urge you that if you if you don't know lord jesus your jesus your lord and savior 
maybe this is the right piece for you at the right time. Maybe this video is it and the Holy Spirit's been speaking to you and he's drawing you out. Guys, all you have to do, honestly, if the Holy Spirit is calling you to repentance is, is to speak to God and go, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of the junk I've done in my life. And the Bible says that we put our trust in Jesus and that he is faithful and good to forgive us of all sins. <laughs> done. Like nothing ever happened. We are clear. It's done. And, and guys, if this is the right piece at the right time, awesome. I'm excited for you. I really am. There are other aspects of our lives, though. Again, salvation is just one point when things are wiped away, but there's still things in life that we have to keep going. We still have to be planning. We have to be preparing for certain things. God's called you to do amazing things. And so you start stacking these boxes. You start stacking these pieces all together because you know that God's called you to this one specific thing. Maybe God's called you to ministry. Maybe God's called you to, to do certain things in life, to start a business or to, to have certain relationships with certain people. And so you're working hard to do it and you got this one slide. You're God, I want this to come through. And so you're building these things up and things come in and they look like they're distractions. They're going to try to put you away. So you shove them aside into other places. You keep waiting for the right piece at the right time. And all of a sudden, the right piece at the right time begins to float down your screen. So you nudge at the right place and you position yourself. You position yourself. And boom, it happens. Maybe, maybe it's a financial thing for you. You need financial freedom. And so you're, you're struggling. And so you're sorting the boxes and putting things in places. You reworking your finances, cutting things out of the way that you don't need to have. And then God provides. Maybe it's a financial blessing from somebody. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a raise your job. I don't know. Guys, I'm not preaching some prosperity gospel. I'm not telling you you're going to be millionaires and billionaires one day. But what I am saying is God does provide if we trust in him. Maybe your situation is the relationship with the people around you and you're trying to figure out what you need to do. And you know that God said that I have people in your life who are godly and they're going to lift you up and they're going to encourage you and you will be healthy and you will grow in me. And so God's like, you need to start sorting some stuff out, guys. You need to start moving boxes, doing some stuff. And it's uncomfortable. Things look like they're about right, but they don't fit quite right. So you start shoving them to the side and you're trying to make things work. And then all of a sudden, I promise you, if you're faithful to do all this stuff, down your screen will come one perfect piece that comes down and slides into position. The right piece at the right time. If we trust Him. If we put our faith in Him. If we allow God to do what God does best. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Geek Devotions. Do me a favor. If you like this episode, make sure you hit the like button, comment, all that good stuff. Your question of the week is real simple. I want to know from you guys about a time when you were struggling, you're going through some stuff, and God provided the right peace at the right time that brought just victory in your life. Whatever it was, maybe it's a financial situation, maybe there's a relationship with people, whatever it is, let us know your stories down below. Not because we want a bunch of comments or anything, but because we have people who go back and watch the backlog of our show. I I'm telling you, I check the analytics all the time, and people are watching episodes that are old, and it's I'm like, wow, this episode's like a year and a half old. And they read your comments. They see what you have to say and they are encouraged by it. So leave your story down below because your story could be the right piece at the right time for somebody in their life. So our winner of our Devoted Geek Life Tetris Tournament is Francisco Ruiz. Man, congratulations. Thanks so much for playing. Guys, Francisco got an amazing score on the 1989 Tetris. I was really impressed. We had another friend of ours named LJ and... He put up the score. I was like, I was blown away. It was an amazing score, but it was the wrong game. <laughs> so I felt really bad for him. But Francisco, you are the winner. You're going to win this amazing shirt that's currently on the screen. Check it out. I want to encourage those of you. Um, maybe you're like, hey, I really like that shirt, Dallas. I would like to have this shirt that says right piece at the right time. As a reminder of this, maybe this episode, or maybe what God's doing in your life. If you want this shirt, go to teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash geek devotions. Or just really easy, click on the links down below and take you straight to the store. Francisco, I'm going to get in touch with you later, man, so we can get figure out what color and sizing you need. Really appreciate you being part of the Devoted Geek Life. You all do not want to miss next month's episodes of Geek Devotions and our podcast, Calm Talk, because, guys, we have something really, really special happening. Next month, we are celebrating women in geekdom. Now, we're not just talking about characters that are out there, but women who are geeky. Because you know what? Geeky women are awesome, and they have a voice, and it needs to be heard. So all next month, we're celebrating you ladies, and it's going to be awesome. Well, like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Geek Devotions. Make sure you follow our social media, and most of all, make sure you stay devoted. Peace.
in love.